Welcome if you're new here, my name is Katie. We talk clean beauty, back to basics wellness, low tox living, former hairstylist and makeup artist, current content creator, wellness enthusiast. And today we're talking about hair products I'm currently obsessed with. The first product is a product that I never thought that I would use. I honestly was like, that's kind of dumb. Like I just didn't understand. I was like, just more crap, we don't need it. And I was absolutely wrong. A silicone scalp massager. I got this from Ceremonia. This is truly one of my most favorite products. It is the best $15 I have ever spent. I am so obsessed with this product. You use this in the shower when you're shampooing or using sort of any sort of like scalp treatment. Using a product like this is going to exfoliate the skin on your scalp, really get it to a deeper level of clean, really clean your sebaceous glands, which are your oil glands on your scalp. It's going to help remove dead skin and a buildup of products that you just get from using product and from sweating. It also increases circulation to your scalp, so which helps promote strong, healthy hair growth. I swear my hair and is stronger and my scalp health is so much better since I started using this product. You can use it with any shampoo or hair mask you wanna use. I also feel like because your scalp is cleaner and because the root of your hair is cleaner all over, I have an increase of just the volume on my hair. Like my hair sits higher, doesn't feel so flat on my head. I mean, I'm on day four of my hair and it's like pretty full. Usually I would be like, oh, I've got a shampoo by day four and I feel like I could push another day or two easily in terms of like volume and scalp. Like. I have a lot of product in my hair, so I kind of want to wash it, but usually it would be because I feel like my hair is really flat by this time. I only shampoo and brush out my hair one or two days a week. The rest of the days when I'm wearing it curly, I just rinse it. I don't brush through it with anything. So I think especially if you wear your hair curly and you follow a similar routine, you feel even cleaner and, and like you're getting everything out of your, your scalp and your hair with using something like this. My next one is also more like an item versus like a product and it's just straight up claw clips. I swear, I'm so glad these are back in style. Even if they weren't, I've never stopped using them. I have had this thing for like 10 years. This is just like a basic one. It's probably from like Walgreens or CVS, but like MEJ has some really cute ones, like some sparkly ones and some butterfly ones. I think it's way easier to take your hair down if you have it up in something like this and be able to recycle the style with a claw clip versus using a hair tie. Like you know, your hair is not like a lost cause. Whereas like if you put your hair up in a bun with a hair tie, then it's kind of like, now she's up until you wash her again. At least for me, my hair doesn't really like recycle ponytails that well. Straight up old fashioned claw clips. A product that I've talked about many times, Holy Locks by Agent Natur. This is a scalp serum. It helps with scalp health and hair growth. I started using this after I needed methotrexate, after I had ectopic pregnancies, and that was like my medication I needed. And I had a little bit of hair loss from the hormones, from the medication, and from the stress of the whole situation. And I feel like this really helped bring my hair back to life even stronger. When I was actively using it as a treatment because I was struggling with hair loss and just like splotchiness, I was using it three days a week. Now my hair is in a really good spot. I had a second ectopic needed methotrexate again, used it three days a week That after that again. But be between the two ectopics and now moving forward, I just use it once a week as a treatment and as maintenance. I usually do two droppers full on my scalp. I go in my part around my hairline and then kind of like I comb it out and make sure my whole scalp is covered. I massage it and then I put my hair up in a cloth clip or a bun. You leave it in eight to 12 hours. She suggests sleeping with it, but I don't wanna like get the product on my pillowcases. So I usually just do it in the morning, leave it on all day and then shampoo it at night. I'm gonna list here some of the more active ingredients and then some of the more supportive ingredients that she has in this product. I'm also gonna link some articles below about these ingredients and about the product. So you can kind of do your own research and see if it's a good fit for you. The sister product to Holy Locks is hair silk peptides. This is just a hair oil. There's so many hair oil, nourishing, hydrating hair oils out there. Um, I've tried a bunch of them. I used to sell Davinus when I did hair. I was not a fan of the Rawa one, which is more expensive than this one. Um, I tried it, I finished it because it was so expensive, but, I, but I, I will not rebuy it. And this is my second bottle of this and it's pretty full. Um, I don't wanna weigh my hair down, so I don't even ever use a full dropper full. I honestly use like more like a couple drops or like half a dropper full when I'm using it to style my hair. 
I do put it on my mids and ends when I'm doing my treatment day with Holy Locks. Holy Locks is a scalp treatment that has active ingredients that support your scalp and your hair growth, whereas this is for your mids and ends and for hydration. These are both used in the shower. These are from a brand called Ceremonia, the same brand as my scalp scrubber. I came across this brand when I went to a Credo Beauty event and I've been really impressed with the product so far. The papaya scalp scrub is exactly what it sounds like, a scalp scrub with exfoliating beads that you use and massage on your scalp once a week for a deeper clean exfoliation. What I do is I do this with my scrubber once a week. It smells incredible and my hair feels so clean, but it doesn't feel dry at all. It's really gentle, but effective. The deep conditioning mask is also exactly what it sounds like. It is a mask, it's a little bit runny. It's a mask that you use on your mids and ends in the shower. So I will do the papaya scalp scrub with the uh, scrubber. And then I will rinse that out. I will shampoo and then I will put on the mask, but I don't, I won't do conditioner. I'll just use this in place of conditioner, but this cleans my scalp, but I still want to make sure my hair is getting clean, which is why I do this and shampoo. So like I said, Ceremonia is kind of newer to me, but I've been really impressed with it so far. I did try the shampoo and conditioner while I liked it. I didn't like it as much as what I typically use and have been using for years now, which is Inner Sense Pure Harmony Hair Bath Shampoo Hydrating Cream Conditioner. I have yet to find a shampoo conditioner I like as much as I like these. Inner Sense actually has a scalp um, exfoliator, like the papaya one and a hair mask. And I like the Ceremonia one better in both of those categories. I've used both of use both and finish them and I prefer the ceremonial ones. But in terms of shampoo and conditioner, InnerSense has yet to be beaten out. If you have fine hair, I would really suggest trying Love Song Beauty. It, it works really well, it just doesn't work well enough for my hair type and the day four hair that it has to do its job on. Okay, let's do leave-in conditioner. So leave-in conditioner is a product you use when you get out of the shower, you leave it in, it's for hydration for your hair. My number one favorite leave-in conditioner is the Love Song Beauty Weightless Leave-In Conditioner. It is super lightweight. It will work on fine to medium hair. Because I like to go three or four days without shampooing my hair and I reapply product all of those days, this lightweight leave conditioner works really well for me and styling my hair. If you have fine hair, I highly recommend this one. I don't think it will weigh you down at all. I'm bringing another one into the mix as an honorable mention because I really like the GM Reverie leave conditioner. It is really, really nice if you have medium to thick hair. If you're fine, this is gonna be way too heavy for you. If you are medium to thick, this is a really beautiful leave-in. While I love both of these, if I could only take one product, this is more versatile for me because if I wear my hair blown out, I like this way better. It doesn't weigh my hair down at all. And because I go three or four days without shampooing, I really like this on my hair. Um, it's not that I don't like this, I just have to be really light-handed with it. And I do not like my hair blown out with it. It just it just weighs it down too much. Love Song Beauty's Invisible Dry Shampoo. This is another really amazing product. You massage it onto your scalp. Make sure you get the back and the crown. Like I barely use that much of it, and like my hair is like way more lifted. So I don't think I've ever loved a dry shampoo as much as I love this product. I don't think I would ever go back to an aerosol. It's in the same family as like a couple of years ago when Way had the dry shampoo foam, which they discontinued. And this is way better in my opinion. So dry shampoo gel, like this is where it's at. Like love, 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 love. And I really like it on my hair blown out and when I wear it curly. So I like it for both. Captain Blankenship salt spray. I was a huge, and still am a huge fan of Inner Sense um, salt spray. And honestly, I've just been going to this one a little bit more. It's slightly lighter weight, but it, it has a nice hold to it. Honestly, I just, I don't think one is so much better than the other one, but I have both in my cabinet and I've consistently gone more for this one than that one. Lightweight, really effective, just like your classic salt spray. Good if you're styling beachy waves, good if you're styling your natural curl. I'll finish the InnerSense one because the InnerSense one is great, but I think in terms of rebuying, I'll rebuy uh, Captain Blankenship. My current holy grail product. I don't know how to explain this product, but it is so nice. 
for curls and for blowouts. I'm gonna just read it because I don't know how to even explain it. It's Smooth Shine Shape Defrizz Magic, a truly magical potion for soft, touchable curls, brilliant, weightless, frizz-free shine, silky smooth, or a silky smooth straight look. There's no silicone, phthalates, parabens, of, of course. Like, none of these have that. It's not sticky at all. Kind of like a really lightweight, like a watery gel. Kind of has that texture. I don't know if you guys remember this way throwback product, Hair Silk. Do you guys remember that product? Kind of has that feeling to it. There's almost not even a dent in it. Because like I said, I'm gonna show you, I only really use that much. That's it. I first started using this product just on my curls, but then I did wanna play around with it blown out and it's really nice when my hair's blown out too. I really would love to play around with this product on someone who doesn't have my hair texture, but if you do have wavy or curly hair, I highly recommend this product. If you have just like wavy hair, but you wear it blown out every day, I also highly recommend this product. If you let your hair dry straight-ish, naturally air dried, I don't know if I recommend this product because I don't know what it's gonna do for you. And I don't know if it's gonna do more than like just like a nice hair oil would do. So this and the scalp scrubber, those are like my two MVPs this year. Like, I'm just showing you what I'm currently loving and obsessed with and giving you my opinion as always as a former hairstylist and just like beauty lover. For me, what I've learned is that not only it does a shampoo and conditioner matter, but how I care for my scalp and how I care for my mids and ends and doing treatment every now and then really allows me to fully lean into my natural texture because I'm giving my hair everything it needs to be its best. Don't forget to like and subscribe. I really appreciate it and I'll see you next time. Bye.